Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are making some easy fish tacos. I have leftovers that were in the freezer, about probably 10 shrimp and a couple fillets of tilapia that I didn't know what to do with. I happen to have some corn tortillas and I'm gonna be using this sweet kale salad mix, not the dressing though, but just this these goodies here, the cabbage and kale that go in the taco. So stay tuned to this great, easy recipe and we're getting rid of some things in our freezer. Let's see, I should have here in the freezer, yes, see, I, have, I keep peppers in my freezer. There's a red one and a green, half a green one. I keep these, oh, that's not red, that's yellow, right? That's yellow. So we're gonna take the yellow pepper and make a pico de gallo with that. Oh, there's an orange one there. Hey, look at all this that I have in my freezer. All sorts of stuff. I'm looking for, I think I have a half jalapeno in here somewhere. I don't see it, dang. I'll have to look in my other freezer. I thought I had a half a frozen jalapeno. Don't see it. We'll check the other side. Green onions are super cheap. They're about a dollar, dollar fifty for a bag, and they last a good month. This is something I would always have, that I always have in my fridge, and would tell you guys to always have this in your fridge to make things with. It's a buck, not that big of a deal. The other thing, I keep fresh lemons on hand, but not everyone does. Keep a lemon in lime in your fridge. These are very helpful in recipes to jazz some things up. And then my pepper. I keep peppers in the freezer now because I don't always use them, but I always want them on hand. So I keep every color in the freezer. I'm picking this color for this dish because it's mild and I'm using strawberries in my pico de gallo. Why? Because I had them. If you don't have them, you can substitute out tomatoes. That's the normal pico de gallo. But I've got strawberries, so I am going to jazz this dish up a bit. But always have these in your freezer. Okay, we're gonna cut up about 10 scallions for our pico de gallo, and then about one cup of cilantro. Cilantro is another thing I always have in my fridge. It's just great to put in salads, dishes, whatever. And if you ever wonder why I do voiceovers sometimes, it's because my neighbors. The dog is barking incessantly right now. So for now, this is what you get. Run your frozen pepper underwater just to soften it up a bit. It's much easier to cut into if it's pliable. Now we have our pepper that's softened. Sometimes our recipes are so detailed, and I'll admit, the fish tacos were a little detailed. How you can make them a little easier? Buy the bag of already cut up veggies. Um, you can use a homemade salsa. Go get the homemade mango salsa at the grocery store. So amazing, it'd be perfect for this. And really, that will cut out a lot of time. All right, this is our marinade for the fish and shrimp. We're just gonna put about two tablespoons, maybe a little more of olive oil in a dish, then about a tablespoon of cilantro, the other half of the lime, and the other half of lemon, and we're just gonna mix this all up. Also add some salt and pepper in there, and we are gonna put this all over our fish and shrimp, just in a Ziploc bag, let it sit 10 minutes, and then we are going to put it on the grill, if you don't wanna put it on the grill, you could also just put it right in a fry pan. We're putting one big shrimp and some fish in each taco with some of our store-bought kale and cabbage mix, some pico de gallo, and then down below in the description, you're gonna find this green sauce that I made to put on there too. 
Also serve with limes. And check out my video on how to heat corn tortillas so they're nice and soft and pliable. Okay, it has been a couple weeks later since shooting that video. I do have to tell you, I forgot to test the tacos on the big screen. I didn't videotape it. I want to tell you the tacos were amazing, so delicious, so easy, things that you just have to keep in your fridge. Add a couple dollars a month to your grocery budget. You will be surprised how you can use cilantro, green onions, fresh lime, and, and lemon. Um, so please try those. Go out and buy them and then try to use them. Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks. Please subscribe below, give me a thumbs up, and I would love to hear from you in the comments section. Let me know what you want me to make that will streamline your cooking and make it easier for you. I hope to hear from you soon. Bye.